Now, if you have clicked on this link, I'm going to assume that you have read that this is a spoiler-heavy rant. So be forewarned, I'm going to talk about The Amazing Spider-Man, and what I feel was it's one big missed opportunity. Okay, you still here? Spoiler time. The death of Captain Stacy. This really, really just didn't need to be done in this movie. While in the comic book continuity, Captain Stacy does die, so you could have used this eventually, I think killing him in the first movie was a real waste. Let me explain why. The on-screen chemistry between Andrew Garfield and Dennis Leary was fantastic in this movie. One of my favorite parts was the dinner scene. Um, just really good tension, but kind of comedy going on. It was well played. Um, and by killing him in this first movie, I just feel there is so much opportunity that was missed with this character. You could have, you know, kept him alive, maybe had him know that Spider-Man was Peter Parker, like he did in the comic books, but never actually told Peter. This could have led to some great scenes with, uh, you know, Dennis really giving Peter a lot of crap about Spider-Man, but of course secretly, you know, knowing and I just really feel that this was... I don't know if they didn't think the movie was going to do well and they wouldn't do sequels, or... I, I just don't understand the thought process behind it because it didn't need to be done in this film. It was too soon. Captain Stacy's death didn't add much to the movie, I felt. Um, it wasn't, like, really moving that he died in that scene. And also... What he did after his, you know, right before his death was kind of odd, too, in the fact that he told Peter to stay away from Gwen, whereas, you know, with a few exceptions in some alternate universes, Captain Stacy has always really liked both Peter and Spider-Man. So, that's the one issue I had with this movie, and I thought I'd throw it off to the side so I didn't have to spoil it for anybody. It's just something I feel was missed. It did not ruin the movie in any way. It's still a fantastic movie. Like I said in the review, the best Spider-Man movie that's been out. So that was it. Short little rant here. I'm going to do another one for you now too though.